da da This is everything I've made in my wardrobe. I wear, I would say, a majority of it, not everything. Some things I don't wear because I don't have events to wear it to, but it is something I've made. Most of it's actually my own design. I think everything but two, I think, two items that I did not make the patterns for. That's pretty cool. And one of them is from when I was 15 and I made it with my mom and I still wear it today. I'm gonna show you every item. We go through it and I'll also show you how I style it with my own wardrobe. So the first one I made was actually an upcycle that I did and originally I think it was from H&M but it was this like tulle dress overlay so it was just this top with a tiny little frill and one layer of tulle but it went really long like past my knees I think. So I actually chopped off the bottom, added a ton of more tulle that I found like I have white and green, made a little lining underneath and then with all the extra tulle from the bottom of the skirt I made this like massive ruffle from it. I also had a top that I made to go with it, I forgot. This is a little top that I made to go underneath. It's just like a, a ribbed sheer turtleneck neck with a mock neck. And the armpits are a little discolored because life. But this went underneath it. It was such a cute little outfit. I really enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, still one of my favorite birthday outfits. I wanted to make a tradition of like making my birthday outfit every year and it happened once. And the next dress, I, I actually made this for my brand when it was still in Toronto. A lot of these things I made when I was still in Toronto, but it was supposed to be a collab with this crochet artist. So I made the dress and she was gonna make this really cute vest. And the furthest we got was I made a sample and then we just honestly had no time. So it just, it never came to fruition, but it's okay, I got to keep the dress. And the fabric loved the most. It's this beautiful eyelet. So I put a little white lining underneath the sleeves are kind of a little bit more full with a nice cuff with like the little three pearl buttons. And yeah, I really like, there's no waist sleeve. It's like all full panels. I wish I just made it a bit longer. That's the only thing, but still super cute. Really good for the spring and the summer. This is a set that I made and it was one of the first dresses I made as well for my brand. Um, it's like a little tulle dress. I really like tulle. You'll probably notice it with some other dresses as well. And I just wanted a little like tiered ruffle and at the back you can tie it. But then I needed to obviously put something underneath so I could sell it together. Then I just made this little bodycon dress to go underneath. So essentially it's like this. It's very short, but with the dress overlay, it's not a problem. So I had a bow love and I wanted to make a bow top for so long and I finally made it a couple years ago in 2021, I guess already. I was on the bow trend before the bows were a trend last year. <laughs> so I made this, it has like a little button back paired with this midi skirt that I made and then it has the angled yoke at the front with the gathered bottom. It also, I made sure to add pockets because we all love pockets. So there's pockets on the side, a little, summer fit and i actually also made this skirt in a shorter version but in bright yellow and it also does have pockets as well never skip the pockets to be honest i don't wear this one that much i don't know why i made it in yellow it's not a very versatile color but it's cute this is the one that i made with my mom when i was 15. so this is a while ago and i still have it i could never Bring myself to get rid of it every time i did a like wardrobe clean out i was just there was something about it i was like no can't throw that out this is the slip that we had to buy i think we also got this second hand just bought it to go underneath because it's still <laughs> it's so sheer but it's just like a simple raglan sleeve with elastics at the cuff elastics at the neckline so you can wear it kind of off the shoulder or like a wide neckline and then elastic at the waist so it goes like it kind of bubbles a little bit more like boho -y, I would say than my usual style I haven't worn it in a while so I'll have to put this back in the rotation because I do really like it I had a thing for this color for a second because these dresses are literally the same but this is more halter-ish the front goes up and then it ties in a big bow at the back of your neck or in a knot but has an open bag and then a slit in the front. Super effortless, easy. I also made this dress for my brand and I made it in like a, a fuchsia, which I don't own. I just have this one, but it was just such a really quick design that I came up with and I like it, but I wish I spent more time on the pattern because there's certain things I don't love. 
like the hem doesn't sit very straight it goes up in the front and the back because I didn't even it out so well so it's not something I wear too much but it's really cute when I wear it with my big oversized blazer and who's really gonna say oh your hem isn't straight people normally don't notice or just keep walking and don't stand still so people don't notice <laughs> The summer before I moved here in the Netherlands, so two summers ago, I had two of my really close friends get married and I wanted to make sure that I wore outfits I made for them. And one of them was this asymmetric dress. I saw, saw someone wear like an asymmetric neckline and I thought, yeah, that's it. So it's an asymmetric front and then there's one string on the back that kind of holds it together and then this gathered. It also goes super long and it trains a little bit just to be a little bit extra, you know. I just needed that little bit of extraness to my dress. And then it ended up raining, so I was always holding it up so it wasn't getting like soaked, but I love it. Like I need a good summer vacation in like, I don't know, Greece or in some islands just so I can wear this. And then just like it trains behind me when I go for dinner, during the sunset. Yeah, I really like it. I've only worn it once, but I need an outfit to wear it again. So the other wedding, I wanted to do something more classic, like a little black dress, but I had this little one that I made prior, which is a little slip to go under something else that I made. I'll show you in a second, but it was too boring for my liking. So I again found tool that I just had in my sewing kit and I made this massive bow across the boobs, like literally across the boobs. It's so big that when I was eating, I had to like put my arms in front to like put the bow back just so I could eat, you know? Then for the rest of the day, if I was just standing there, I put my arms in front. So like this was the moment. <laughs> and like I said, this was a little slip dress to go under something else that I made, which was this, this long tool dress. Now the tool, came embroidered like I did not do the embroidery it just came like that big taffeta ruffle on the bottom and at the back this ties into a bow and it goes all the way down your back I'm telling you I was into bows before bows were such a thing <laughs> so this had the black slip dress that went underneath but that doesn't happen anymore Sometimes I wear this just over jeans and a tank top because I think it's fun to make it more casual. This, I also made a little headband to go with it. Also another bow, <laughs> like this is the look. I've never worn it in Maastricht. I think it's too bold, but I used to wear it in Toronto. Sometimes when I went to work, this is how I went to work. Nothing interesting about this one really. I saw this shape of shirt and style on Instagram and thought I could make that. So I did. Two little ties at the front boxy little cropped thing it's nice uh like at the beach in the summer i just like throw it on because i'm the type of person that gets burned all the time i always bring a shirt that has sleeves just to protect my shoulders i don't know if this is kind of embarrassing or not but we have something else with the bow across the boobs again it's this little tri-colored dress and i say tri-color because the bow is blue, the dress is green, and then the back is red. And it's all the same material. It's like this sear sucker gingham. This is actually this top just converted into a dress. But I had the idea to do like a super short dress, but then make bloomers underneath. And I ended up making just these like tiny little booty shorts because I wanted it to be a set. So that's how it would look like. And I still wear this. I really like this. This was a recent upcycle that I did last year from Circle Tablecloths. I just found them at the thrift store for super cheap, but there was two of them. So I just cut out the middle to make a waist, made a layer, but it's like so much fabric and it's actually quite heavy. The elastic situation at the waist, I don't love. I want to actually redo it. And I'm thinking of just taking a layer off just to make one because look how much fabric this already is. And then I can just have two circle skirts or maybe I make it like a shorter ruffle at the top. Oh, that could be kind of cute. It's just, it's so heavy. And the waistband is just like not it, but I do love when I wear it, just like how much fabric I have to play with and twirl around with. It's fun. Again, with the sheer fabric, and tulle. It was also an old curtain that I upcycled 
I honestly just like cut the bottom off, folded the top, sewed it, and it's just like a wrap skirt situation. And I wanted it to look kind of like an apron so you could wear it over anything just to make your outfit a bit more interesting, you know what I mean? And again with the bows, lots of bows in my in my wardrobe. But yeah, you can just like wear it over your outfit just to make it more interesting. I need to wear this more. I think I've only worn it like a couple times, but I need to wear it more. If you follow my Instagram or my YouTube for a while now, you already know this one. <laughs> it is the original crop jacket, the very first one that I made, and I made it already a year ago, which is wild. But yeah, I, I still love it. I wear it all the time in the spring. In the summer for like cool evenings, a simple jacket just throw on. I love it. I love the cut, I like the fabric, and it's also partially why, because I wore it so much, it's why I decided to go with this exact product to sell for my brand and being like my, my first product. The Netherlands is jacket season all year round. <laughs> So you can make it work many times throughout the year. Raincoats. I was shopping for fabric, like wholesale fabric, and I came across this like blue nylon and it was waterproof and I just right away thought I should make a more fun raincoat because I just didn't have any. So I made a blue one and a white one and it actually has the double zip. So it's easier to like cycle or walk. And if you want to stay really dry, you just zip it all the way down. There's elastics on the wrists and on the bottom and on the neck with these little toggles. So you can just like kind of tighten it and bubble it up. And then I actually made these both a set with matching bottoms and they're not actually splash pants, but they are rain chaps. <laughs> can you ever say that you've ever seen rain chaps? I need to remember how I do this. They're definitely one of the most unique things I've ever made before. Like, full butt is out. But they work, because with the coat, you don't even know they're rain chops. There's honestly no particular reason why I made them rain chops, except that I just thought the idea was really cool and really fun. And that's about it. <laughs> but I like them. Definitely one of my most weird items. Gotta put my skirt back on. Yeah, perfect. And last but not least, I made two bucket hats. This one has a little pocket on it. I, again, am someone who needs sun protection at the beach. So this is the little hat that I wear. And this one I made actually from an old raincoat. It was like this old Adidas raincoat that I had and I just patched it together. This was one of the pockets from the coat. I just put the pocket on the back. I don't know what you'll store in there. Candies, coins, coins at the beach maybe. Then I actually lined the whole thing with this like scrap gingham fabric that I found. This is it, a bucket hat from a raincoat. This is cool. This is probably one of the coolest things I made. And there you have it. This is everything in my wardrobe that I've made. I hope you liked it. I hope there's something that's inspiring to you. I love to create and I love colors and I love tool and layering. <laughs> that's what you can get out of this. You enjoy and I'll see you next week. Bye.